Hello and welcome to Scrap TV, the video forum for the Scrap Magazine and ISRI websites. I'm Kent Kaiser, your Scrap TV host, and today we're fortunate to be with Harry Squires of Schnitzer Steel Industries in Portland, Oregon. We're here with Harry because he is the uh, ISRI Safe Driver of the Year for the second year in a row, uh, believe it or not, in his 40 plus year career, Harry has driven uh, nearly 3 million miles on the road without incurring a single preventable accident. Um, first off, congratulations on that impressive record. Thank you. And for winning it two years in a row. Um, how does it feel to win that accolade two years? It, I just never thought about it. I do, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I just, I drive and that's it. You just drive and that's it. Were yeah. you surprised to get the call that you won again? Yeah. Right. Because I did, it was told that I couldn't win it again, oh, so really? I didn't think nothing of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's quite the feat to win it twice and to have that record. Um, when I'm driving a commercial truck for almost four or four decades without an accident, it isn't based on luck. So can you tell me how you've managed to drive safely for that many years? Do you drive actually more further down the road than what most people think? Okay like a half mile or a mile down the road. Okay. You have to because you you got to see what's coming at you and what people are doing off to the side. Okay. Now, why do you think other drivers might find that so difficult? I mean, again, there's a lot of drivers on the road, so how um, have you managed to make that work while they haven't? A lot of them are just, they don't pay attention to what they're doing. Huh. Okay. What do you think are the biggest problems with Lack of attention. What What are the biggest detractors? Cell phones. Cell phones. Yeah. Do you have a cell phone in your truck at all? Yes, and I also have a headset that, so it's a one touch and I can talk. Okay. So you, you're okay as long as uh, you have a headset, but you just can't be having hands on anything. Well, yeah. You, no, you can't use your hands. Okay. Okay. That's amazing. Um, now. Over 40 years, I'm sure you've faced some safety challenges on the road, uh, maybe even some near near accidents or things like that. But in what kind of conditions or situations have you found yourself in, in a, almost an accident like that? Uh, I've had, I was in an accident, uh -huh. but a guy passed me on the right hand side uh -huh. as I was turning ah. on a motorcycle. Oh gee, <laughs> oh my, wow, but. Uh, well, you know, what are the biggest safety concerns when you're driving? What are, what are you really always thinking about? People getting in the blind slot where you can't see them. Okay, okay. And uh, just how about other things? Anything like speed or road yeah. conditions and, uh, you know, the, the state of your truck, the condition of your truck itself? I mean, what, what are the things you always have to be focusing on? Everybody teases me about driving slow. I still get there. Mm -hmm. I also get there safely okay. and the most people are in a big rush to get nowhere fast okay it just doesn't work anymore there's too many people out here yeah. way too many yeah I'm sure passenger cars don't treat truck drivers like you very courteously I've had people tell me that because I have more brakes I can stop quicker than they did can Oh my, whoa. What do you do? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, well, now, would you have any advice to offer younger commercial drivers who aspire to have a driving record like you have achieved? Any advice? Slow down, get rid of the cell phone. Okay. You don't have to be there fast. Okay. If you get rid of that cell phone, it's a, it's a huge distraction. Oh, sure. Now, have you, do you do anything for Schnitzer like this? Are you a mentor to younger drivers in the I, company? Uh, I'm the senior driver, so I keep telling them, you don't need to talk on that all day. How do they respond? They say yes, yes, and go ahead and do it. So I get to see it. Okay. Well, can you keep working on them? I do, all the time. <laughs> okay. Any other advice you would have for them besides slow down and get rid of the cell phone, anything else you think is a real key to being a safe driver? Take your time. Just like I said, time. just don't get excited about it. Okay. And you, watch the traffic. You can tell when something's going on by watching the traffic. Okay. 
that it sounds like you have almost like a sixth sense in, in what yeah. potential problems can be ahead. Do you think everybody has that sixth sense no. though? No, they don't. Okay. A lot of drivers will run right up on the traffic. They don't start slowing down. And that, that's what causes a lot of accidents is they're right on the bumper. Okay. You must do some things even before you get in the truck to make sure that you're going to have a safe trip. What else, what do you do before you even get in? I pre-check it, check the tires, the brakes. I can tell if the brakes are out of adjustment by looking at the air, air cans okay. and make sure everything's tight. Okay. Check all the bolts, lug bolts on the truck, wheels. Even the bolts on the side of the frame, and you walk by and twist them. Hmm. Hmm. If you don't, you have some loose, you're going to be real sorry. Okay. How about mentally or uh, making sure you're well rested? I mean, there are other things you probably need to do to make sure you're getting into the cab in the right state to, to operate safely. Don't get upset first thing in the morning. <laughs> A lot of drivers go to work upset, and it ruins their whole day. Upset from something in their personal lives, you yep. mean? Well, okay. What they have at home, I don't know about, but you can tell when they're upset. Uh, it distracts them? Yep. Okay. So try not to show up upset. How about getting a lot of rest, anything like that? Do you tend yep. to get the right amount of rest? Well, I try. <laughs> I try. It's hard, but I try. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, now, you, being a driver for 40 years, that you've been a driver for more than 40 years? What do you find still enjoyable about it after this many years? Just getting in the truck. I'm alone. I'm yeah. by myself. Do you like that? The solitary yeah. aspect of it? Yeah. Okay. Does it ever get boring or tiring for you? No. No, really? No. Now, and have you worked for Schnitzer all 40 of those years? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I was only going to work for them for a couple of years. Really? Yeah. I'm still waiting for the couple of years to come around. <laughs> yeah. Um, why were you only going to work for them a couple of years? Were you hired as a temporary driver or did they hire you and you just thought you'd have a different opportunity? I was actually hired as a laborer and they found out I had a CDL. Okay. Well, not then. I had a, chauff a chauffeur's license oh. back then. Okay. So I was put in trucks part-time and then went full-time driving trucks. Oh my gosh. So do you consider that you found your uh, calling in driving a truck? Oh, I always wanted to drive a truck. That's great. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, now listen, I hear that you like to drive Schnitzer's uh, 1926 Mack flatbed truck, which you call Baby. Can you tell me about that truck and why you like it so much? It's a 26 C cab Mack. Okay. It's an antique. It's an antique, okay. Yeah. All right. Nobody likes to drive it because you don't have a whole lot of room between the steering wheel and the back of the seat. Oh, really? So it's really tight that way. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is it hard to drive otherwise? Is it? Is no. They upgraded all the running gear. It has power steering, automatic transmission. Okay. But nobody likes it because you are really cramped. Oh, okay. And the seat sits like this. Oh, it's like a vertical seat? No, you're sitting tilted forward. Forward. Oh, my goodness. Yes, so nobody likes it. I drive it. If I had my way when I retired, I'd take it home. Uh, so how do you all use it now? It is a show truck, is a strictly truck. show truck. Okay. We go to the Starlight, St. John's, and parades like that. Oh, okay. And you're always the driver. I'm always the driver. <laughs> well, now at this point, after 40 years, I mean, how much longer do you want to keep doing this? Uh, hopefully two more years. Two more years? Yeah, then retire. Okay. You think is going to try to talk you out of that? <laughs> it won't matter. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. And uh, what do you plan to do then? What are go you fishing. Do? Go fishing? Yeah. All right. Is that your main hobby? If go fishing, go camping. Okay. Take her and go camping. Awesome. Awesome. Driving a baby, maybe. <laughs> They won't let me have it. <laughs> oh, they won't? No. Oh, oh, that's not very nice. Well, listen, uh, um, congratulations again, yeah. Harry. That's an amazing accomplishment and an amazing record. Thank you for coming to join us and talk. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you for coming to the convention again. Just, this is Kent Kaiser for Scrap TV, just signing off until next time.